So what if I tell you that blockchain technology can help solve poverty and corruption in Africa? Would you believe me? Well, the world of blockchain has been gaining a lot of attention from individuals, businesses, and even large organizations. And many people who have asked about it say that it's the same as crypto and what else is there except of Bitcoin. I used to believe them at first, but then I did more research and found out that crypto is only the financial aspect of the blockchain and that there are many more uses to it. Blockchain is essentially a large database of transaction records that anyone can view but not change. For example, if I send some money to my friend through QuickTeller or any other similar service, the transaction data will be recorded on the servers of QuickTeller and only they will be able to view it. But what if they get hacked? The transaction data will be changed and there will be no way to verify if it's valid or not. But with blockchain, it's not possible to hack it. How is that, you may ask? Well, the transaction data is not stored on a singular server, but all of the computers that are connected to the blockchain at the same time. Now, the question remains, how will this solve corruption? The blockchain, apart from being extremely secure, is also really transparent, meaning that whatever you put on the blockchain, you can see where it is and when it was posted. So you'll immediately know where bribery has happened or where some money has been taken out of the account. Also, anyone who tries to bribe someone using the blockchain will be immediately caught because the blockchain will not be able to allow unauthorized transactions. Now, how will this solve poverty? Well, we already know that the government is giving out donations to help solve poverty again. But because of poor management, these donations don't really reach their destination. But with blockchain, you'll be able to view the status of these donations 24-7 in real time. And you'll immediately know if something is wrong. I've seen this happen practically myself uh, while the World Food Organization is using blockchain to solve world hunger worldwide. They have saved over $100 million in bank fees and, and they have sent over $300 million in crypto transactions. But where else can we implement blockchain except of poverty and corruption? We can go from real estate to voting to even our household items like a mobile phone. For example, if I submit my vote for, let's say, the next president, I will never know what happens to the vote after it's been submitted whether if it was counted or even changed. But with blockchain, I can clear all my doubts by just checking my phone and know what happens to, to my vote if it's counted or changed. But what about privacy? I've been going on and on about how the blockchain is very transparent and I can track whatever goes on there. But what about privacy? You'd like to keep some things private, right? For example, one of my teachers uh, leaked her uh, a bank pin and she lost all her savings. This can be solved with blockchain. This is where private keys and public keys come in. These are basically your email address and the password to your email address. The public key being your email address can be used to log into websites, play games, so on and so forth. While your private key holds all your personal information. That's why whenever you go to a crypto website, they will always ask for your public key and not your private key. Now we as human beings tend to resist change. But just like we did many years back with the internet, I'm sure we'll be able to adapt blockchain into our daily lives. Thank you.